Hello and welcome. My name is Lynn and I have a little crafty haul to share. This is from the Not Too Shabby Shop and you might have uh, caught my community post where I said I woke up early to place my order for um, this mini bundle because you just never can tell when something sells out. A lot of times um, I've missed out because Bundles, kits, etc. have sold out, so I wanted to make sure I was up early <laughs> to place my order. So besides the Gingerbread Kisses mini bundle, which this one does happen to still be in stock, uh, for a little while some of them were out of, uh, one of the options was out of stock, and so, um, but I do think that, that they uh, are both uh, in stock now. And what I mean by options is that you can get the bundle with or without the coordinating dies that go with the stamp set. I chose to get it without, but you can choose the option to get it with. And so what comes in this bundle? I did pick up a couple of other things besides the bundle, but I'll show you the uh, bundle first. There is a an ephemera pack Really, really lovely um, elements here. They're a really nice size too. Really love that. And goes perfectly with the stamp set. So this is called Gingerbread Hugs. And really, really fun penguins. They're holding different um, cookies and little elements. So really, really cute. And then you have your mug with uh, gingerbread cookies and candy canes and other candies. So super, super cute. There are some really fun sentiments as well. And then you also get the to and from. So if you want to turn these into tags, which might be something I do, that would be um, really useful for that. So you have your stamp set. You've got um, a six by six paper pad as well. So there are 24 double-sided sheets and I can give a quick flip through of these. So really, really lovely, nice and thick. So I would, if I had to guess, I would put it at maybe um, 65 pound, um, maybe more even, maybe, maybe up to 80. So here's a quick flip through. Love the, the colors and it is double sided. So if you find one side usually has a very um, like a graphical print, but then you flip to the other side and, and you, there'll be like a small kind of repeat pattern. So if you find the print a little bit hard to incorporate, just flip to the back. And, and you should find something that's a little bit more um, of your basic sort of ombres or geometrics that really aren't themed at all most of the time. So, so they can be used outside of the holiday theme. But they're all of these are really, really lovely. So, so pretty. And as I mentioned, I love, love the colorway. And now we're beginning to see some repeats. So beautiful, beautiful papers. And um, it's going to be super fun to, to create with. All right. So that's our 6 by 6 paper pad. Then we also get a... Um, this is cool. So this is a... Um, a stencil that is designed by Call Me Crafty L, and I think it's a six by six stencil. And what's cool is this is super super versatile because you can just use it um, and apply it in one direction to get stripes in. Um, you can get do horizontal stripes. You can do vertical stripes. You can even rotate this on your on your card to. Um, here's like a mini slimline. So. You could actually just use this and make diagonal stripes too if you wanted more, a little bit of like almost candy cane striping. So it's a nice size stencil, so I can just about get to um, those corners there. So really, really lovely that. But if you look at the guide on the back, what's really nifty about this is that 
You can stencil in one direction, rotate your stencil or your paper, however things are attached for you, uh, rotate it 90 degrees and then stencil in um, the orthogonal direction and you get this lovely gingham. So you can make your own gingham paper. Um, and you'll see that in the paper pad, there are four different colorways of gingham, but if you're, um, so if you're using the paper pad, you've already got that built into here, but for other projects, you can now make gingham paper in whatever color you want. So how versatile is that? I love, love this stencil. I think it's going to be, um, super, super, uh, useful. And I could see myself crafting with this a lot. So, so that actually is part of the, I want it all bundle. So really, really fantastic and a really nice size too. So there's that. So that, that completes the, um, gingerbread kisses bundle, these four items. Besides that, I wanted to pick up a couple of other things that I thought were super cute too. So I thought this, um, sort of goes really well with the um, new gingerbread hugs and this is actually called cup of cheer so again cute little penguin this time he's holding the mug we have an ornament and then we have another mug with um kind of a little uh emoji face and marshmallow and candy cane melted in there and this i also felt like goes really well with um the latest gingerbread hugs. This one is actually called gingerbread kisses. <laughs> and there are four different gingerbread cookie uh, figures. This one's really cute. This one's stitched. So that's really lovely. This one almost looks like he could be, um, you could almost use this one for Halloween. It, <laughs> it kind of looks like he's got the bandages, like the mummy bandages around the bottom um, of his feet there. And he's the one holding the little lollipop candy too. So he might be really great for, um, for Halloween as well. And then there are some really nice large, I love sentiments like these because I feel like they're going to emboss really well because of the, the thick line weight. And so whenever I see something like that, the first thing I think to do is maybe try embossing it. And, and I think this would emboss really well too, because it's got some lines that are a little bit thinner, but then some lines that are thicker. And plus I like the silhouette of the gingerbread uh, cookies as well. So I think that one might emboss pretty well too. So I, I got these just um, to maybe stretch and combine with this stamp set too, because I feel like they all go super well together. And then uh, released at the same time, as gingerbread uh, kisses that bu mini bundle is this six by six paper pad called uh, plaids for Christmas and so really really lovely I'll give a quick flip through and I feel like these are going to be so great for just general purpose um, all year long crafting although a lot of them obviously have the the red and green for Christmas but you can use the reds it's a nice dark maroon, so I think that would be lovely for fall as well. And this is a cut apart sheet, but it's not it's not pre-cut for you, which is great because on the back is a pattern. So if you don't want to use the cut apart images, which you could maybe use your brother scan and cut to actually cut out if you wanted, uh, you could always use the back uh, paper design. So gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Love them. And I love that there are some that are all green, some are, some that are all red, because I feel like those ones could definitely be used uh, outside of Christmas. And of course, we're going to start to see repeats here. Um, but again, really, really lovely um, paperweight. There's 24 uh, double-sided sheets and you get four of each design. And, um, and so that's great in terms of if you do have a lot of, uh, like a project where you need a lot of the same pattern, you can get that out of this because there's going to be four of each. So really, really awesome that. 
So that is um, my little um, haul from the Not Too Shabby Shop. If uh, there are things that are still available for purchase, I'll leave links to everything I can in the description box below. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.